Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is another video in the series of videos that I'm doing for the Airbus A320 Neo. Although I've done a tutorial um, a few years back when the Microsoft Flight Simulator was launched, but it was a very basic one. Uh, nowadays, I'm actually trying to explore all the possibilities available uh, with the Airbus A320 Neo, which is a default plane for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'm just trying to explore each and everything. And instead of cramping up, uh, the information uh, in one video i'm just uh, trying to do a series of videos in which i will be touching all those topics which um, are uh, important to have a flight and plus um, uh, which um, uh, which actually encouraged me to ask so many questions about uh, the airbus a320 neo and uh, the exterior lighting is one of the questions that i always had about the plane that when to turn on which light and when to turn off which light and um, somehow after some uh, time now i am very much comfortable with the lighting and i know when to turn off uh, turn on and turn off which light and what is the purpose of each light so if you go over here um, on the upper panel the front one you will see these uh, eight switches over here and uh, each switch is actually related to a, a light and in this video i will just take you through all the switches and um, hopefully this video, video will be a helpful one for you uh, if you are a beginner obviously it will really give you a good perspective about the lighting of the plane so let's start with the beacon on light this light is actually uh, a red light at the top and bottom of the plane if you turn on this light and the red light starts blinking which tells the ground crew that the plane is about to start so if i turn on the switch and if you go out let me change the view and over here you will see the red light at the top and at the bottom of the plane so this is a good light a good indicator you know, for the ground crew that the engine is about to start uh, so uh, the ground crew just moves away from the plane because obviously when the engine start it can be dangerous the beacons are uh, turned on as um, um, as soon as you are about to start the engines and start the APU and ready for the pushback. So you turn on the beacons and you turn off the beacons after the landing. When you park at a gate and you are about to shut down the engines, till that time the beacon is on. And once the engines are completely shut down, they are off, then you turn off the beacon. So this is one of uh, uh, the lights and it is very important to have this light before the pushback and before you start the engine now coming back to another uh, set of lights that is the nav and logo lights and if you turn on this light and if you go out you will see that now there is light on the tail of the plane so this is actually the logo light so if the logo is on the tail you can uh, clearly see it this is actually um, an automatic light for the logo once the plane is in the air this uh, light turns off and as soon as you're about to land this light turns on so it's an automatic light but i try doing this light with the airbus a320 neo it remains on throughout the flight uh, because uh, obviously at 38000 feet or 35000 feet or maybe at 28 or 25000 feet you don't need this light because you need this light when you're near to the ground so the people can see and identify the airline so it's a it's a useful light and you can see this light is over here and um, at the back plus you can also see two lights now i will tell you something about the nav lights and over here you will see a green light oh <laughs> that's it okay so over here you will see a green light and let me just change the view to the to the drone mode so that we can easily look at these lights it's easy to look at these lights in the in the drone mode so um, let's go here and move here, here you go So basically, these are the green lights, uh, which actually uh, is an indication for the other planes uh, to uh, to to rather um, see where the plane is going in the night. If they are seeing green lights, it means the plane is going towards the right side. 
it's a very logical thing because uh, they are on this wing so if you are seeing the plane from this angle and you are seeing a green light it means the plane is going towards the right side and similarly on this side there is a dead right so if you see a red light it means the plane is going towards the left side so these uh, nav lights are turned on throughout the flight and uh, it gives a very good perspective to all the planes that what is the direction of the plane in the night if they cannot see the plane so these lights give a very good indication so if you see a green light the plane is going towards the right and if you see the red light the plane is going towards um, the left and uh, plus if you see these two lights the white light it means um, the plane is moving away from you these two lights which you can see over here so now this is about the beacon and uh, let me just get back in the cockpit now about the rest of the lights uh, there is another light that's a strobe light it is actually a good indication in the night let's uh, just go out and see if the strobe light is on because i've right now set it to auto it has got two positions one is auto and one is on so i will keep it in the on position and then i will just go out and will show it you from outside and now you can see there is an additional strobe light at the end of the wings and this is actually a, a good again an indication to all the planes in the in the air that there is another plane so this is a very good um, indication the, these strobes are on if these strobes are set to auto let's see what happens i'll uh, just go back into the cockpit and will show you that what will happen if you set them to auto it's actually i don't know some issues with the click regions they're very short okay so let's go out and uh, let's see now you can see the strobe is off but as soon as you are about to take off and uh, as soon as uh, uh, you land before the take off they automatically turn on and after the landing they actually turn off so always keep the strobes to set so let's get back into the cockpit and continue with the rest of the lights uh, so so far we have covered all these lights uh, the nav and logo the beacon and plus the strobe now after the push back all the lights uh, the wing light the taxi light and all these landing lights and runway turn off lights will come into action so right now what i'm going to do is this i'm going to start the apu and uh, i will call in for the um, push back and then i will show you um, how to turn on the other lights and what is the use of these lights now the push back has started and during the push back uh, till the time you take off you keep on uh, the in, uh, the cockpit light the dome light on because if you want to hand coordinate or give um, signals to the ground staff the ground staff can see clearly inside the cockpit so during the push back you keep this uh, dome light on and right after the push back then there are certain lights that you have to actually turn on now the push back has ended and the plane is ready to taxi the engines are on and you can see uh, the beacon is on and the nav lights you can see them clearly over here and as as soon as i'm about to take off the strobe lights will all automatically turn on now it's uh, time to see the runway because as you can see we cannot see the taxiway or the runway so let's get back into the cockpit and uh, let's uh, see what the other lights mean so the first light is actually a taxi light so if i turn it on and if i go out and i will show it to you over here this is over here on the nose view you don't turn it on till the time the plane is uh, completely on the taxiway because uh, or after the push back you turn it on because uh, this is at a very ground level and it can you know get into the eyes of the ground staff so you have to be really careful about this uh, turning on this light so after the push back once the push back cart is away uh, then you turn on this light then there is another one i'll just show it to you if you go back to the cockpit you will see runway turn off lights because this light the one that i just turned on right now or the nose light it is actually a, a line a, a light which is showing you a straight path if i just do it like this and let's turn off the dome light so that we can see outside seat belts okay forgot to turn on the seat belt lights okay and uh, here you go so now as you can see that you can only see um, in the front but on the left and the right side there are still dark areas so if you turn on this light 
you will be able to see even left and right as well. Now you can see this is a very good range that's uh, well lit and if you go out you will see the lights. So now it's a very good angle uh, the, you cannot not only see in, um, ahead but also left and right and it's uh, the vision gets really clear. Now before the takeoff you will turn on um, the ta um, these lights switch or rather switch these lights from taxi to takeoff and then you can also turn on um, the landing lights and uh, you can also turn on the wing lights. So let's taxi to the runway and then turn on the rest of the lights and then proceed with the flight. So right now I'm holding short of the runway 10 left at uh, Islamabad International Airport as you can see the runway is ahead and uh, on the left side you can see the terminal. So just right before the takeoff and um, you go back to the cockpit and uh, then you turn on um, uh, this light or rather move it from taxi to takeoff and if you just go out you will see the light is further bright and uh, plus the other planes which are landing can also see you and obviously um, during the landing your plane is also very much visible and plus you can also uh, see the runway in the night as well and uh, let's uh, go with these uh, two more lights and uh, Let's first of all turn on the wing lights and then let me just talk about the landing lights. So if I turn on the wing light, you will see that there are two lights on the wings, left and the right side, which are also on now. And you can see the lights on the wings. So this is also an important light. Just right after the takeoff, you turn it off. And uh, the last light that I'm going to talk about is the landing light. Right now the landing lights are retracted, as you can see, then it has got three positions, retracted, off and on. If you move it from retracted to off, the landing lights are extended but they are not on. If I just show you, they are here somewhere. You can see it over here. <laughs> can, I, can I turn on this flashlight? No, the flashlight is not available in the external view. But you can see this, uh, this uh, some black spot over here. As you can see from the back, let me show you from the back. Can we see? Yeah, this light. <laughs> so very, very, uh, what you can say, uh, uh, dark <laughs> over here, and you cannot see see them. So uh, before the takeoff, you also have to turn on um, uh, the lights because you want to see the runway clearly. So right now, all the lights are on. So uh, just to recap. Um, before the pushback uh, and you start the APU, you have to turn on uh, the beacon just to tell the ground staff that you are about to start the engines and pushback is about to start. Then uh, you also set the strobe to auto. After the pushback and plus nav and logo, you turn it on. After the pushback, you set uh, this uh, nose light to taxi. Then uh, to see left and right, you turn on this light, the runway turn off uh, light on and off. And plus, um, you are about to take off. Once you are holding short of the runway, you turn on the landing lights and you change this light to taxi. So this was a, um, a short video. I think uh, this will help you out in order to understand the lights. And during the uh, after the takeoff uh, strobe, you always uh, keep it like this, um, and uh, you uh, keep the beacon on. As I told you before, the beacon only turns off when the engines are off. So after the landing and you parked at the gate, you turn it off. So after the immediately after the takeoff, you turn off uh, the wing lights, and um, you turn off uh, this light, the runway turn off, off, and plus you also retract the landing lights, and plus the nose light is also set to off. And obviously, just right before the takeoff uh, landing, you again turn on the wing lights, and then you turn on the runway turn off lights, and you know you turn on the rest of these three lights, and that's it. So this is the procedure and uh, this is how you uh, manage the lights in the Airbus A320. Hopefully this video was a useful video for you. If you have got any further questions, you can ask me in the comments section. I will be more than happy to give answer to your questions. And if you have got any comments, the comment section is there for you. With this, I would just like to end my video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.